Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Mike MDs. We're going to be diving in to BMW's latest Roadster, the Z4. In case you aren't too familiar with BMW Z4, it gets its roots from the BMW Z family, starting with the BMW Z1 produced in 1989. This car featured a really neat retractable door and window design that leaves you just scratching your head in amazement. Then in 1995, the Z3 was produced, which famously debuted in the movie GoldenEye. And in 2000, the BMW Z8 was introduced, which paid homage to the BMW 507 and featured an all-aluminum body structure and suspension. This allowed it to earn its place in yet another James Bond blockbuster. In 2002, the first generation Z4 Roadster was produced and equipped with BMW's electric power steering system. The system was highly praised for its connectiveness feel to the road and reliability, paving the path for further use for future models. In 2009, the second generation Z4 was announced, featuring a retractable hardtop and astonishing the world with its overcomplexity. A marvel requiring BMW service technicians to take a two-day class for the top alone. Never mind the assortment of special tools, jigs, and software needed for adjustments. Yes, a rear fender bender could potentially total out your car. And in 2018 to present day, we now have the third generation of the Z4, which was unveiled at the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance charitable car event. As you might have noticed, they returned to the canvas convertible top, which retracts in half the time as the previous Z4. It also saves on weight and complexity without sacrificing cabin quietness. Now BMW's website has some pretty nice pictures and videos to get you all revved up. It's an exhilarating car to drive and one of my personal favorites in BMW's lineup. It's my choice of the BMW Bunch, next to the first generation Z4. It's fun and fast, which is what you'd expect from a car starting around 50 grand and working its way up to over 70, if you want all the goodies. And yes, you want all the goodies, which is what the Z4 M40i has to offer. Now, the Z4 comes in two main models, the S-Drive 30i and the M40i. The Z4 S-Drive 30i is the standard model, which is powered by a twin-scroll turbocharged inline four-cylinder rated at 255 horsepower, 25 miles per gallon city, and 32 miles per gallon highway, with a 5.2 0 to 60. The Z4 M40i is powered by a 3-liter twin-scroll turbocharged inline six cylinder boasting a whopping 382 horsepower and a 3.90 to 60 all while averaging a 24 miles per gallon city and a 31 highway not bad not bad at all the body looks completely different and unlike the previous two generations from the side it's hard to tell it's a beamer as it resembles something uh, from the japanese market but it's probably the lack of the badging that we're accustomed to with BMW's Roadsters. Speaking of the Japanese market, BMW and Toyota have been in bed together for some time now, sharing each other's technologies and know-how. BMW's drivetrain performance for Toyota's EV and hybrid tech, as BMW couldn't produce a worthy electric vehicle to save its life. Overly engineered and underperforming, <clears throat> Note the i3, which is out of production now. The new iVehicle lineups are anything short of amazing. Bringing us back to the Z4 and moving on to the body structure, it has been strengthened even more thanks to extra reinforcements in the way of braces and plates. The Z4 is kept light by making the outer panels out of aluminum and thermoplastics. Most of the suspension components are also aluminum. The passenger compartment is beautifully designed, as usual, utilizing premium materials, giving it an elegant and sporty feel, with the typical infotainment options you'd expect. 
Looking at the power and drivetrain, the standard model Z4 S-Drive 30i, as mentioned earlier, is equipped with an inline four-cylinder with the engineering designation of B48. Both models utilize BMW's newer 8-speed auto Steptronic Sport transmission with paddle shift capabilities and a Sport Plus button for crisper shifting and an overall sporty feel. Both models come with LED headlights as standard. An electric variable locking differential is available for the Z4 S-Drive 30i and standard on the Z4 M40i. The M40i also gets the more powerful 3-liter turbocharged inline 6 with the engineering designation of B58. You also get M Sport tuned suspension with completely different components and alignment geometry specific to M Sport. A split dual exhaust with integral down system collector acting as a crossover and silencer and a M Sport dual pipe trims. Wow showing on the right. The axles are decorated with four piston Brembo brake calipers for the front and sport brake full floating Mondo single piston calipers for the rear, highlighted in blue. Both models are equipped with two piece brake discs with the center portion made of aluminum. Note the M40i's discs are larger. Car and driver gave the Z4 a nine out of 10. Either model is a win-win. The standard Z4 S-Drive 30i doesn't feel so standard at all and will not leave you wanting more. If money wasn't an issue, then you know the obvious choice. Overall, the Z4 is an underrated sports car with a hefty price tag. I mean, you could buy a Corvette with that money. But with so many on the road and the midlife crisis stereotype that will not soon be forgotten, it's hard for me to get over. The Z4 doesn't have any of that. And on those uncommon occasions you encounter a Z4 on the road, you'll find yourself cracking a side smirk of a smile and maybe even a nod to the driver. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching it and I have more to come. I'd appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. We'll see you in the future. Happy motoring to you.